What's good everyone, Ezzy Anime here and welcome to this top 5 favorite fairy tale characters um, in anime. Not the manga, just the anime. I just finished watching it, yeah I know I am kind of late. Uh, it took me almost close to 2 months finally finishing the, 100, the 175 episodes. Um, you know, I, li I really liked it, I gave, I gave it a solid 8, even though there was some parts I did not like, like the filler arc, it wasn't that, it wasn't that great. But um, overall, you know, eight. I thought it was eight. I'm hoping now this this new one, you know, coming out really soon, April 5th, you know. So I decided to make this video and you know just make my opinion, you know, share my top five favorite characters in anime, not the manga, because um, I haven't read the manga and I don't plan to do that. So yeah, just keep in mind that these characters are shown in the anime and you know, I just narrated the top five. So, anyways, let's get it started with our fifth spot winner here, Bacchus. Or Bakus Goro, or Japanese, his name is Bakatsu Goro. Goro, right? The S-class mage from Quattro Cerberus. Um, he debuted in the what do you call it? The <clears throat> shit, I can't even talk. The Grand Magic Games arc. He debuted there. Um, and you know, the thing I like about this guy the most is uh, his his magic, his martial arts magic, and like it's just so cool to watch the way he fought people and the way you know when he battled Elf Elfman and. You know, he, I know he lost and stuff, but you know, I, I really wanted him to win. I really wanted him to beat Elfman. But um, yo, know, his magic is so cool. The way he moves, the way he attacks people, it's just so smooth and cr I, I like it. I really like it. And um, you know, it's it's nice to see that that fairy tale added someone like this to the um, crap to the fairy tale characters, right? It's pretty cool to see that his martial arts skill. Like, look at that. Like, look at his like moves. He just goes like into his fighting stance. Even though he is a drunk, uh, he gets he needs to get drunk to get like like super powerful, or whatever. But besides that, like he's just so awesome. Is is I like his magic overall um, than anything. So yeah, that is my boy Bakatsu. Anyways, moving on to our number fourth spot, Natsu Dragon Deal. Yeah, he's my number four sp uh, fourth spot. He maybe be my fifth. You know um. Yeah, he's cool, guys. I get it. I know, like, some of you guys might be disappointed, but, um, you know, that suits me, man. He got old after, like, the 40th episode or something like that. Uh, I don't remember what arc specifically. Um, you know, I, ju I just, like, the only thing I like about this guy is his voice actor. His Japanese voice actor is so awesome. I like his laugh, the way he interpretates Natsu, you know, like, it's just so, it's, it's funny to, to hear him laugh. I laugh when he laughs. It's, it's, it's funny to me, and you know he, his, but his, you know his spotlight, like Fairy Tail puts him in the spotlight a lot, and we get it, man. He does go in every arc. He goes in, um, but you know it's it's not like, I feel like Fairy Tail needs to like stop that, man. And like I know Natsu's the main protagonist, but like, come on, man. Like he's getting old, and you know don't get me wrong, he, he is like he is cool sometimes when he goes in, but. I don't know. I feel like the fairy tale needs to put the spotlight on somebody else sometimes. Like share the spotlight, man. Not too strong. I get it. He's a freaking dragon slayer, blah blah blah. blah. But uh, I don't know what to say. Um, you know, I, he really got old to me, and I was telling somebody this before. Like, I, I, don't, I don't like him that much. Um, but he is still, my, I guess, my top ten, top five. I put him here in the top five just cause, cause. I don't know. I just, I, I think it was a fan service pick than anything. But anyways, <clears throat> moving on to number three. Gana Arbelona. Um, yeah, I know she's not that powerful, guys, but yo, not only I think she's the hottest girl in Fairy Tale, she's also like the coolest girl in Fairy Tale, and like you know, besides her drinking habits, she's just awesome overall. Um, you know, he, she knows Fairy Glitter that uh, move that like, well, she doesn't, she can't do it at will. Like, what's her name? Malvis has to give it to her or something like that. But she's the only one in Fairy Tale that like one of the members that knows how to do it, and it's pretty cool to see. Um, you know, especially in the Grand Magic games when she did that like when that little judge thing like they tested the magic power Like she just nailed it and blew everyone away with 9,999 points. I was just like yes kind of pulling through I was like yes, she made everyone look like shit. It's so awesome. So Kana is awesome to me and also she's the daughter of guild arts So I think I, I, I could see her I could see her becoming one of the s-class mages and probably becoming pretty strong uh, as, as anime grows, hopefully, you know, we'll see her more in action. And man, she is hot, by the way. Did I say that already? Yeah. But, anyways, guys, moving on to our number two spot. My boy, Happy. Hey. So, yeah, man. Happy, man. Uh, he, at first, I thought he was a random user, you know, as first watching the anime. But he grew on me, man. He's so awesome. 
Uh, he's uh, so he you know, obviously supports Natsu and also supports the team overall. And it's just so funny. He's like the he's like the smile and like the laugh of this anime. Um, you know, he's and he, and he has. Don't get me wrong. He has his points too. Like he can defend people. Like he, like here he got serious for his girl Sharla. He had to get serious here, man. He had to defend his pride. So. Now this was in the Edelus, uh, Edelus arc, but uh, you know he's he's awesome, man. He's awesome to see, um, you know, like and he's so funny. I don't know how to describe. He's so funny, like as as he as the anime progressed, and the thing I really liked about him the most is he's the only fairy tale character that calls people out. It's just hilarious when he does too. Like it, it's so funny. He makes awkward moments happen, and I love doing that. I love doing that in real life, you know. Uh, making awkward moments to me is so funny and like it's just <laughs> the way right here this scene would just got me into tears I was just laughing my ass off so basically Jalal did not pull through and Ursa did not pull through and then like Savvy like randomly just shows up in the beach he's like hey Ursa look at this Ursa look look and he's like <laughs> he just starts laughing <laughs> Dude, that's so funny, dude. I would totally, man, if this guy was a real cat, I would freaking adopt him in a heartbeat. I would pay for this cat. But, uh, man, he's awesome, man. He's definitely my top three, uh, you know, overall. Hopefully, yeah, probably will always be in my top three as the anime grows. And it's just so funny, man. He's awesome. Again, I don't know how much, how many times I said that word, but it's, it's cool. Anyways, moving on to our, my number one pick. And you guys already, some of you guys might know this, but it's my boy. Laxos Drehar. Man, this guy is just amazing, dude. Like at first, you know, you don't see him that much. I didn't, I really, I really didn't know who he was until like he started showing up occasionally, and we started figuring out he was the grandson of the master. And I was like, okay, this guy looks like a uh, looks cool, I guess. But you know, that's what I thought first. Uh, not until like the Laxos article and when. He got power hungry, you know. I could see him getting power hungry, you know. And he learned his lesson, though. But let's be real, though. After he used that fairy law, he used a lot of his magic, right? He used a lot of his magic to do that, and it was useless because um, fairy law only works with uh, the people, the people who you see an, as an enemy. And he didn't see Natsu or Gajo as an enemy or Fairy Tail as an enemy. So, you know, it was something like he just wanted the power. He just wanted the title, and he learned his lesson and. I think he would have kicked Gajil and Natsu's ass in a heartbeat if he didn't use that fairy tale. I mean, fairy law um, move because you know he is so powerful, guys. He's so underrated, and like I really hope fairy tale puts him more in the spotlight, dude. Like this guy's, a, he's the king. To me, he's the king of fairy tale. Like, and I can relate to this man. He doesn't care what she, what people think. He does what he wants to do, and. What you call it? He uh he also so he now he supports his uh, comrades. You know, like he he doesn't like when people mess with his comrades, and he comes back to uh, help Fairy Tail against Hades. You know, like I wish he could have kicked Hades' ass, but like you know he had to give it to Natsu because yo Natsu's going in. Though. You know he had to ha you know that had to happen, right? But um you know Laxus is again an underrated dude, and you know the thing I like about like the thing I consider when I say someone's my favorite character. Um, I can relate to this guy. Like I need to relate to the character, and I relate to this guy, man. He's he's, he's awesome, man. Like I, I I think he needs to be shown more in the fairy tale. Hopefully, in the fairy tale this year, as the anime uh, rolls through, he's gonna be shown. And I do believe he will be the master of fairy tale. He has to be, man. He's the heir. He's he learned his lesson, and he's gonna carry fairy tale throughout anything. If any if anyone's gonna count on anyone when the master's gone, it's gonna be him. Everyone's gonna come to Laxus, man. Like he's he will be the mass. I think he will, and he should be. Let's be real, man. Let's be real. And he will be the saints. He's probably powerful than freaking uh, ten. One of the what do you call it? The ten saints of fairy tale. He's probably the like number two behind his grandpa. Like he's like come on, man. He's awesome. But anyways, guys, that's my time. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I know this video was kind of weird. I guess I I, I was I was really getting into it, so I apologize if I said a lot of words a lot. But you know. Uh, you know, fairy tale is coming back, and I'm excited for it. So let's see how it goes, and I can't wait for it to see it. And yeah, guys, uh, hit that like button for me. That does help me out, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.